Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Sam and Max Season 1. So we've done everything we need to do in the office for a long time in this chapter. Uh, but now we have to go visit Sybil and Bosco to find out what they're up to. Both of which, pretty funny. Bosco, I think, far more than Sybil. But this is Sybil's last career change, so that's kind of cool. We have to check out that billboard. It's different. Hiya, Sybil. Hello, Sam. Hello, Max. But we prefer to be addressed by our official title. Is Sybil hearing the voices again? The people, the people! Are you feeling all right, Sybil? You bet we are. We just got the best job ever. We are the Queen of Canada. I always thought Rush was the Queen of Canada. Fantastic. Queen of Canada? How'd you land that gig? Did you find half of an old locket dripping with syrup and bacon grease, hinting at a long-forgotten lineage? Nothing that interesting, we're afraid. We answered a classified ad. <laughs> the Canadians are practical that way. They've been looking for a figurehead to give the country a little bit more class. They said we were the perfect candidate. It's very nice, but you're not Canadian. You're not even Canadian, are you? Heck no. But we took two quarters of French in college, and we spelled color with a U. If not knowing how to spell is enough to become royalty, I could become President of the United States! You are President of the United States, Max. By God, you're right, Sam! How come I'm not bombing anything right now? Plus, we were the only candidate. <laughs> Alright, I do have to say this, um... Take that, Proton John. <laughs> like, just... Need any help with your monarchy? We could be freelance Mounties! Thanks for the offer, guys, but we've got things under control for now. You're helping a lot just by not making any of the obvious Canada jokes. Who would make obvious jokes, eh? Yes, yeah, Sybil. That's just not what we're about. <laughs> okay, this is if just you're fantastic. Queen of Canada, how come you're still down here in the States? Are you kidding? It's freezing up there. We love our country, but we've got to draw the line somewhere. What kind of stuff does the Queen of Canada do, anyway? It's mostly promotional. We throw out the first puck in hockey games, that kind of thing. This afternoon, we've got to go pose for money. That's Sam, awesome. how come I don't get to pose for- We already talked about this, Max. Your gruesome head frightens shopkeepers and plays havoc with ATMs. Our most important job is to look for ways to spruce up the country. How can you possibly spruce up Canada? It's a paradise year-round, from the fresh air and great seafood of British Columbia to the bustling metropolises in Ontario and Quebec. You still have that endorsement with the tourism board? Every little bit helps make ends meet, Max, with the rate you go through new shoes. I didn't complain when you were teething, Sam. Okay, so, uh, that is, I think, the game's apology to Canada. Have you come up with any brilliant ideas for improving Canada? Nothing solid yet. We've thought of a new slogan. Canada, it's surprisingly pleasant. But we need something bigger, something to really put us on the map. See you later, Your Majesty. You may go. Beer, eh? I like this. Relax, I relax, eh? Wait, beer, eh? Huh? What? Nothing special. Two, four. That's awesome! Oh my, man. They really took their digs at Canada. Uh, I am in Wisconsin, so we're kind of, you know, we're, we're close. We're not, I'm not in northern Wisconsin, which is essentially just, just, just across the water. Huh. Or the UP, oh, which is just Canada Junior. <laughs> Sorry, Upers. Anyway. Oh, wait, we need to do this thing. President and assistant destroy internet. Assistant? <laughs> I like that. Reality 2.0, up and coming new internet sensation. The newspapers are always a little behind in their technology coverage. All right. In we go.
Hey, boss. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Didn't I tell you boys not to track mud in the store? <laughs> I just vacuumed. Hey, lady, we're looking for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. <laughs> exactly. Mind telling us how you came to be a woman? Did you use lasers or just do it the old-fashioned way? Are you sassing me? Boy, I will whoop your behind so hard you won't be able to see straight. But I don't see out of my behind. You will after I get through with you. <laughs> Fantastic. But why your mother? Fair enough. But who in their right mind would dress up as their own mother? No one. Good Norman point. Bates. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Just for that, I'm not going to tell you why I dressed up as her. Oh, come on, Bosco. We <laughs> just cost yourself dessert, mister. Oh, uh, okay. So, how are those Bosco Tech breasts holding up? Oh, these are all natural, honey. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I like them bosomy. Oh, Max, you take after your father. Okay, you just cross the line, pal. <laughs> Easy, Max. Theoretically, we have even more disturbed people to worry about right now. <laughs> okay. Uh... You know, Bosco, we've collected some pretty valuable merchandise on our travels and we have the sneaking suspicion you've got a little extra spending money so how'd you like to buy something from us for a change okay do you have any copies of the uncensored 1982 Armando Santi look-alike contest on Betamax nope oh well that's the only thing I really need honey <laughs> okay we want to buy something I love this exchange we buy something did you finish all your chores Yes. <laughs> okay, you can get one thing. One! Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm-hmm. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. <laughs> do you have any video of a chicken eating cow manure for laughs? Mm-hmm. What? No way! Do you have any global meatball sandwich positioning systems? Mm-hmm. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Do you have any three-foot by two-foot cue cards that say don't vote for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I can't believe this! <laughs> Do you have any instant win cheat codes for Reality 2.0? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you have Hugh Bliss tied up back there? Mm -mm. Uh. <laughs> hey, I was on a roll. <laughs> Do you have any completed artificial personality disorder symptoms forms? Mm -hmm. You do? Mm -hmm. Wow, that really would have come in handy earlier. All right, what do you got? Oh, my little angel made the most precious device. It's called an earthquake maker, and it's just what you think. A diarrhea-inducing cocktail? Max, why can't you be more like your brother? He's not my brother. Sam, I don't want you hanging around with him. He's a bad influence. That he is, Mama Bosco. That he is. <laughs> Knowing you, Bosco, I'm sure it's quite reasonable, but how much for this earthquake maker? A hundred trillion dollars. A hundred trillion? <laughs> You crazy fool! Look, man, all I know is I keep making up the most ridiculous price I can think of, and you keep paying it. So I ask you, who's the fool? Well, with a sales pitch like that, how can we not buy it? Remember, no earthquakes in the house. Okay. So never mind. I'll See you later, Bosco's mom. That is. Don't clean your office. It's a pigsty. That is the greatest, like, explanation for the ridiculous price about where he's like, all I know is you keep paying these ridiculous prices, so who's the fool? I'd like it's true. He should ask for a hundred trillion dollars. We're gonna get him a hundred trillion dollars. That's the crazy part. Oh, okay, I forgot. We've got it before we go back to the moon. Oh, jeez. Hi, Jimmy. Up to no good as usual, I see. Back off, Fuzz. Get your own meeting. I think we already did. The city made us pay for that one when we bent it. What do you mean we, White Rabbit? 
We have to microwave the unicorn. I forgot. Although, I kind of want to... Wait a minute. Let's see what happens if we do this. Hey, Max, want to pet the unicorn? No, thanks. I took care of that before we left the office. Nice. I know one way to get horny hot. Very nice. Success. His little horn's nice and red. Wow. I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. Fair enough. I like the system of the whole, like, prismatology, spectrum analysis, unicorn thing. It's really fun. I like it. So, uh, now we actually can, uh, take care of just a bunch of stuff. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon, Alice. I also like the Vintage TV reference. It's fantastic. I don't know how many people know anything about the Honeymooners. I actually used to watch it with my parents when I was young, so... It was groundbreaking, without a doubt. Okay, so, uh, one of the things that we can do is we could use the coat hanger to get into the Lunar Lander, or get through the Lunar Lander door. No siree. You know what? Fine. Oh, no, we can't. We can't do that yet. So, uh, but we can uh, get into the Blister of Tranquility. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. All right. So, uh, I like his logic. That because we're level red, we couldn't have tricked him, but he thinks he, we might have tricked him. Like, it's very strange. All right, so there's a whole bunch of stuff going on in here. Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Hi! I'm Hugh Bliss. Hi, 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 Hugh Bliss. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology, and I couldn't be more delighted. Neither could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. I have splendid news! My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> All right. You're a good man. Bravo, bravo. Outstanding. Yeah, yeah. Outstanding. You're awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right, the best kind. P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. All right, now we have a ton of stuff to do because, like, there's all kinds of interesting characters here. You guys take care, and when we come back, the blister of tranquility. Bye, everybody.